UC Riverside is a proud member of the prestigious University of California system, which celebrated its 150th anniversary in 2018. Our history of high-impact innovation began with the university's earliest days as a citrus experiment station and continues through today's transformative research. As we celebrate our past, we prepare next-generation scientists, engineers, performers, entrepreneurs, and policymakers to tackle tomorrow's challenges. Since our founding, UCR's evolution has mirrored the dynamic growth of Southern California. Once a small university in a small town, we are now the premier research and educational institution in the thriving inland Southern California region. On behalf of the University of California Riverside, thank you for choosing us and welcome to the UCR family. As we begin our journey together, let's take a quick trip through the University of California and the University of California Riverside's history. In 1862, in the throes of a bloody civil war, President Abraham Lincoln signed into law an act that would make creation of the University of California possible. As the young nation fought for its very survival, he moved to create the institutions of higher learning he believed were necessary to secure democracy for future generations. The Morrill Act called for donating land left over from the building of the Transcontinental Railroad to provide states with the funding to create institutions that would educate people from all walks of life and promote research on the cutting edge of technology, at that time agriculture and the mechanical arts, while continuing to teach scientific and classical studies. The aim? To create state-run universities that would educate the wealthy and low-income alike so that everyone could benefit. The Morrill Act was passed on July 2, 1862, giving birth to the land-grant colleges, which formed the foundation for today's system of public higher education. With funds it received through the sale of its railroad lands, California was at last able to put the dream of its founders into motion. In 1866, the state established the Agricultural, Mining, and Mechanical Arts College, but the new public college had no campus or buildings. Meanwhile, across town, another institution, the Private College of California, had buildings in downtown Oakland and land for expansion in what would become Berkeley. But it was struggling to pay its bills. College of California founder Henry Durant sensed a match. He offered the land to the state in 1867 to create a public university. On March 23, 1868, Governor Henry Haight signed the Organic Act the charter that created the University of California. A year later, with 10 faculty members and 40 students, the new university opened the doors of its campus in downtown Oakland with Durant as its first president. It moved to Berkeley five years later under the university's second president, Daniel Coit Gilman. A medical school in San Francisco was founded from a gift by Dr. H. Tolland. Classes begin at Berkeley upon completion of North and South Halls. South Hall still stands. The Tolland Medical College in San Francisco becomes the UC Medical Department, which later becomes UC San Francisco. In 1882, the Los Angeles Normal School, training teachers, opens. Then in 1919, control is transferred to UC and is renamed the Southern Branch of UC and is later called UCLA. In the early 1900s, Citrus is big business in Riverside. Riverside is the wealthiest city per capita in the nation. The desire to improve and protect the citrus industry led to the creation of the Citrus Experiment Station. On February 14, 1907, the Riverside Citrus Experiment Station, the forebearer of UCR, opens for business. Jumping ahead to 1944, UC acquires the Santa Barbara State College, which is eventually renamed UC Santa Barbara. During the 1930s, the city of Riverside decided to augment the Citrus Station with the establishment of a College of Letters and Science, a small, high-caliber liberal arts university. 
On July 30, 1952, UCR holds groundbreaking ceremonies and construction begins immediately on Weber Hall, Geology, Physical Education, Watkins Hall, and Life Sciences. 127 students and 65 faculty members arrive for their first day of classes on February 15, 1954. The next day, Charles Young is elected student body president. He later becomes chancellor of UCLA. UCR is then officially dedicated on October 19, 1954. On June 20, 1955, the first 20 students graduate from UCR. Early years, UCR graduates signed their names in concrete, and their signatures can still be found on campus today on the walkway between the Scotty the Bear statue and the coffee bean and tea leaf. In August 1955, the Big C on Box Springs Mountain was made of cement and equipment provided by the E.L. Yeager Construction Company. Surveying was completed by UCR students. At 132 feet long, it is the longest concrete block letter on record. Highlanders was adopted as the campus mascot in 1955 following a vote of the student body. The Scottish theme is embraced by several campus groups and buildings. Spieth replaces Watkins in 1956, then becomes the first chancellor with the addition of graduate programs and liberal arts. On April 18, 1959, UC Regents vote to make UCR a general campus complete with graduate instruction and professional schools. In 1964, Ivan Hinderiker becomes the second and longest serving UCR chancellor. He adds political sciences. The Boyd Bell Tower was dedicated on October 2, 1966. In 1979, Thomas Rivera became the first minority chancellor in the University of California system. During his tenure, a master's degree program in business administration was added to the already flourishing Graduate School of Management. On May 16, 1984, Chancellor Thomas Rivera suffers a heart attack and passes away. On February 19, 1985, the library was officially named for him. Serving as Executive Vice Chancellor at UCR under Thomas Rivera, Ted Huller becomes the fourth Chancellor in 1985. He adds an engineering program and the California Museum of Photography. Rosemary Schreyer, serving as Executive Vice Chancellor and Provost under Huller, becomes the fifth chancellor at UCR and the first female chancellor in 1987. She focused on growing UCR's external giving, which increased from $3 million to $12 million. She used the chancellor's house for fundraising and did not live there. In April 1988, students approve a plan for UCR's athletics team to join NCAA Division I. In March 2000, UCR is accepted into the Big West Conference. Raymond Orbach became chancellor in 1992. He was the second longest tenured chancellor at UCR. He grew UCR from 8,800 to over 14,000 students. Orbach championed the growth of UCR. Francis Cordova became the seventh chancellor and first Latina chancellor in 2002. She achieved preliminary approval of UCR Medical School and opened UCR's Palm Desert campus. Jumping ahead to April 15, 2005, UCR Palm Desert opened. Established as a teaching and research center, UCR Palm Desert is a catalyst for diversification by providing relevant regional research, offering innovative academic programs that attract and retain world-class talent to the region, convening and creating partnerships that advance the public good and enriching the cultural life of the community. UCR Medical School The UCR-UCLA program in biomedical sciences was established in 1974 with a dual goal of recruiting outstanding students to UC Riverside and increasing the number of medical students entering clinical training at UCLA. 
Students in the program completed their undergraduate work and the first two years of their medical education at UC Riverside, then transferred to UCLA for their third and fourth years, earning their MD from the David Geffen School of Medicine. Between its inception and the opening of the UCR School of Medicine in 2013, approximately 850 students went through the program, which was renamed the UCR, UCLA, Thomas Hayter Program in Biomedical Sciences in 1997. The success of the Hayter Program served as the foundation for the development of the UCR School of Medicine. In 2003, then-Chancellor Francis A. Cordova brought together a blue-ribbon panel to begin the planning process for a four-year medical school. Tim White becomes the eighth chancellor in 2007. His accomplishments include the 10-year strategic plan called UCR 2020, accreditation of the medical school, announcement of the new school of public policy, and growth of campus enrollment to almost 21,000 students. In July 2008, the UC Regents approved UCR's proposal for a school of medicine, and by February 2010, Dr. G. Richard Olds came on board as founding dean and vice chancellor of health affairs. In 2013, Kim Wilcox becomes the ninth chancellor of UCR. He oversees a campus of more than 25,000 students, 850 faculty, and 4,800 academic and administrative staff members. Guided by UCR's strategic plan, Wilcox has grown the faculty and increased racial, ethnic, and diversity among incoming faculty members. Under his leadership, UCR has become a national model for achieving success, particularly across socioeconomic and ethnic categories. UC Riverside is one of the few institutions nationwide that has eliminated graduation rate gaps across income levels and ethnicity. In August 2013, the first inaugural class of 50 students was welcomed into UCR School of Medicine. This class graduated in June 2017 with a historical 100% match rate. Founded by Dean Anil B. Dialalakar, UCR School of Public Policy was announced in September 2012. The first class of students started in 2015 and graduated in 2017. The University of California, Riverside has a long and prestigious history. To learn more about UCR's history, please visit the About page on ucr.edu, as well as the universityofcalifornia.edu websites.